looking at the pie charts here, we have all of the usual suspects, of course, plus some surprises. Birds as usual suspects. Yes, birds as usual suspects. Are you happy now? Shit, dog, just happy? Nah, I'm very happy. <laughs> do you have to do that every time? It's the one cool power I got. Just let me have my thing, dog. I guess it is your only cool power, huh? Your other abilities are unnatural. Y you know you almost kill people? I'm a deadly weapon of absolute Yu-Gi-Oh power. You are the only Yu-Gi-Oh player in history to win a match by winning only one out of three games. Winning is easy. Just draw Exodia, noob. I did. The legend, the classic, the once per duel effects. Although, in your case, it would be a once per match effect, huh? But what does it do? <laughs> you remember that one? Uh, obliterate that from my memory. I still have nightmares, Eugene. After learning the truth, I still have nightmares. Put the three natural top two cards from your deck to your hand face down without shuffling your deck and then you sit to the graveyard by game again. <laughs> One guy who obliterated with monarchs? Yes, that was awesome. And the kid who decided that dragon duels are for amateurs. <laughs> he also decided that foils are for nerds. <laughs> What's for amateurs is a rescue ace. Setting that many cards is just bad. Coming from the guy who loves easy wins. With cool decks, fire trucks aren't cool. Oh, and birds are so badass and unique. Yeah, totally. I, I don't see birds outside the window right now. Flying winged creatures are so rare. Well, penguins aren't anywhere around here, so there. What's not anywhere around is cash. A rise heart getting banned made everyone jump ship. It's like the Titanic. Who knew that a rise heart was actually a hero keeping tier limits at bay? Now it's like I'm watching Revenge of the Sith. And tier limits have the high ground. <laughs> yeah, the deck still works. It's up to Unchained now, though. I still think this format should be called Off the Chain. <laughs> Stop trying to make Fetch happen. Stop being a mean girl. I was right about purely and everything else. You have no power here, Eugene the Lame. What doesn't have power here is Rika Sun Avalon. <laughs> that deck talks in Europe all the time, but doesn't do anything here. Why? <laughs> yeah, within the TCG alone, the meta can vary a lot by region. Even in past formats, the meta can vary a lot by region. <laughs> it always cracks me up to see when people criticize decks when they don't keep that in mind, and so they obviously don't know what they're talking about, and they give away that their opinion is invalid. I'm talking to you. You also have to factor in matchups. Birds have an insane unchained matchup. I guess you could say that that's off the chain. Okay, fetch can happen. Yes, luck is always a factor in the game as well. Whether that be from bad matchups or from drawing bad hands. If you draw bad, your deck's bad. <laughs> Not necessarily. Remember Jim Knight Garnett or Cyframe Driver? Those cards suck and they make decks bad. It's what I just said. Yes, that's why Brilliant Fusion is banned. And why Gamma is at one. Because those cards are... So bad. Those engines are terrible. Nobody ever played them. Nope. I was imagining it. Not to mention the artifact engine. What's up? I'm eating. Stop eating our food and leave already! Hey, he's a welcome guest. Is he staying here until he comes off the list? You know, because it would have been way easier just to send his spirit to the Shadow Realm like you were supposed to. Yeah, or until Devo comes back and fights him for the spare room. <laughs> That'd be fun to see. Yeah, I hope that never happens. I've watched your show. That thing is shady. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know what happens when you speak of the devil, right? Apparently a bad card appears. A wild monster appears? <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> You're the one defending Artifact Scythe and disobeying the ban list. Thank you! Oh, wait. It's coming from you. Uh... 
Thank you? <laughs> yes, because the meta wouldn't adjust, and Forbidden Chalice isn't a card. <laughs> no, and it doesn't have several prints either. <laughs> no, I'm imagining things again. <sighs> Why do you hang around here? Because if someone comes looking for me, they have to deal with my very powerful friend, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. What do you want, Disgusto Ball? I was just eavesdropping and wanted to bother you. Also, every card wants to be friends with you now, by the way, ever since you prolonged Scythe's life and then bailed him out from the Shadow Realm. Well, you can leave now. I already knew that. And I'm not giving out any more cookies. You couldn't pay me to stay here. You two are total dorks. All you do is argue about Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Later, losers. Why is he... We don't argue that much. We don't argue. I tell it like it is, and then you argue with me. Because sometimes you're wrong. Like about Bird Up. We went over this again in the last video. I was not wrong about birds. I think you're deaf. You also used to say Cash Tira wrong, yeah. But nobody noticed because you're always mispronouncing cards on purpose. <laughs> used to. I still say Cash Money instead of Cash Stutter Tira. Oh my gosh, who, who, who comes up with these? And a year ago, you were wrong about Electromite coming off the list. Oh, oh, okay. I was hoping that you would forget that. I'm not even gonna lie. But that card should have came off the list a long time ago. It's been left on the list for way too long. And Harp Horror should be off the list too. Konami leaves stuff on the list for way too long. <laughs> Stop doing that. Cards that you like, cards that everyone likes. If we're gonna have this much diversity, which is a lot, and if we're gonna have this big of a card pool, which is massive and continues to grow, what's the problem with letting Orcus or Thunder Dragon or whatever off the list? What's it really gonna hurt? My brain? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is so hard. I've been studying tier limit lines for days. And then I won't run into any tier players. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about matchup luck earlier, huh? I miss rock, paper, scissors format. It's been so long, Eugene. It's been so long. You just miss easy wins like playing Dank Law against Burning Abyss or Shadal. Winning is easy, remember? Just draw Exodia. Or play Flow Woo Flu Flu Bird up. Yeah, that's all you have to say the whole video. <laughs>